I know still heavy on our hearts and minds are the events that happened in South Carolina, but there was hopeful news today out of South Carolina. Governor Nikki Haley finally came forward and addressed the fact that the Confederate flag is still hanging in front of the South Carolina State Capitol. Today, we are here in a moment of unity in our state without ill will to say it's time to move the flag from the Capitol grounds. Yes. That, yeah, you can applaud. Absolutely. That is the right thing to do. Good for you, South Carolina. You know, up here, Nikki. Mm. 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 Oh, well, maybe I'm sorry. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I mean, who could have been against this, right? It's a no, I mean, especially in the light of the incident that just happened, and particularly in 2015. Well, anybody running for president trying to get Republican votes? Because this is what they said this weekend. I still feel like it's not an issue for a person running for president. Marco Rubio telling reporters, quote, ultimately the people of South Carolina will make the right decision for South Carolina. That's a decision for the people of South Carolina. And this is a decision that needs to be made here in South Carolina. <laughs> Man, state's choice is the classic presidential candidate Kappa, right? Hey, when you ask me if I think the sky is blue, I think that's a question best left up to the states. <laughs> they should decide. How do I know what you would do with the flag? I'm not a flag scientist. <laughs> I, I want to be president of the United States, not president of flags. <laughs> so I reject your question. <laughs> okay, so I want to know. Um, are you taking this down tomorrow? Um, <laughs> Are you taking it down tonight? Because um, I can come over with the flashlight. The U.S. flag was ordered to half staff, but the rebel flag remained high, padlocked into place, untouchable without an override by two thirds of the state legislature. Padlocked? Um, well, okay, no problem. You get that two thirds, blah, 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 and I'll get the key. I got one of those right here. Thank you, let me tell you. This will open any padlock, or non-padlock, or, or maximum security prison in upstate New York. Oops. Perhaps I said too much. <laughs> but anyhow, the point is, you're taking that flag down, right? And as governor, I have the authority to call them back into session under extraordinary circumstances. I have indicated to the House and the Senate that if they do not take measures to ensure this debate takes place this summer, I will use that authority for the purpose of the legislature removing the flag from the state house grounds. So you want them to come back to debate taking it down, but there's a chance that they won't. So you'll say, hey guys, you better come back and talk about this. <laughs> South Carolina, it sounds like you're trying to f me on that. <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, I think I'm gonna have to retract my up here. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, let me give you guys a little unsolicited advice, okay? How about this? How about just take the damn flag down right now? How about that? Okay? Okay? Now, listen to me. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. And then, and then you can debate putting it back up. How about that? So, now, I know, I know as governor you have to follow the rules. I get that. But you're a South Carolina governor. There are no rules for you guys. I mean, the last governor took the Appalachian Trail to Argentina, defying all laws of physics, right? On a, on a mission for secret poon. Which, by the way, is against South Carolina law, so. And I don't know what the big debate is about anyway. We're not talking about an official government flag. We're talking about a relic that has no purpose anymore. It, it's decorative. You don't need a declaration to remove a decoration. Okay? It's a decoration. Look, it's time for a segment uh, we call For the Record. Okay, For the Record, the Confederate flag is not a proud symbol of tradition or heritage. It's a symbol of oppression and intimidation. That's not my opinion. That's an objective fact. On March 21st, 1861, the Vice President of the Confederacy, Alexander H. Stevens, stated that the Confederate government was based on the great truth that the Negro is not equal to the white man. 
That speech is now called the cornerstone speech because that idea is the cornerstone of the Confederacy. You don't get clearer than that. <laughs> now, some people say that Southern states should fly the Confederate flag because it's a symbol of their heritage. But if we flew every flag from our past, why aren't we flying the Union Jack in front of the White House? <laughs> right? And for the record, South Carolina, you don't get to make the heritage argument because the Stars and Bars hasn't been flying over the State House since the Civil War. It went up in 1961 to mark the centennial of the Civil War. And coincidentally, right around when the black people started with the wanting of the civil rights. <laughs> in 1961, it was a reminder to black people that they should know their place. It has always been used as a symbol of intimidation and terror. And that's what it remains today. In fact, because displaying the swastika is illegal across much of Europe, skinheads and neo-Nazis often adopt the Confederate flag in its place. Yes, it's such a racist symbol that it does double duty as the backup racist symbol <laughs> for another racist symbol. That's crazy. <sighs> okay. So, for the record, I get it that plenty of honorable people have fuzzy feelings about the Confederate flag, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> Their nostalgia will never trump the people who see it as a symbol of hate. And for a state to fly this flag, that hate is the message they send to their people. So, for the record, does it really have to be a debate on whether or not you should take it down? Just take it down. You won't get in trouble. <laughs> huh? Just do it. Do it right now. Go ahead. Seriously. Take it down now.